Group 1, Wilson Sports Bar, New Zealand Cup for the year 2002. The favourite Cecilia Lloyd at 2.20 and $1.25. The green light has gone through to the control tower. The bunny set a motion they're about to break. Set. And racing now, jumping nicely, Cecilia Lloyd, and it fired out to the lead early and pushing up on the inside is Head Mover. Head Mover's going to race it though, and Head Mover's gone to the lead from Cecilia Lloyd, and down on the inside, Big Bad Andy. A couple of lengths to Calbred Prince, and they're followed back in the running, Paddy Holker. Very well back to Ruba Rain, and they're followed by Quite Puzzled out the back, Shanti Bale across the top, and Head Mover's the leader. He's got the favourite, uh, really pushing it hard now, and here comes Cecilia Lloyd down on the inside, grabs the lead, and Cecilia Lloyd goes. Goes the line to win it. Second head mover about three to Paddy Holker. Further back there to Kelbred Prince. And they're followed to break John Terry Bale. And well back here, Karuba Rain never got into the race. And quite puzzled back at the tail. Just about ready, Attorney General Lomu Flex, entrepreneur. So the $75,000 Southern Trust New Zealand Cup for 2005 is ready and the green light has gone through and the money set a motion that are about to jump. Set. Ready. And racing. Now let's see who's the best out. Rubble's made a great beginning, but look at Big Sam. He just drives through the middle and goes to the lead with Rubble the outside. So we've got a race round the first corner. Rubble's going to be very hard to hold out. Big Sam Jr., the leader. He puts two lengths on Rubble. Then further back, Entrepreneur. Little gap in the field. Anna Lee Whiskey down at the inside. Attorney General on the corner. Big Sam Jr., the leader. Rubble about a length and a half back. Tries very hard, but look at Big Sam go. He's the best in the country. Away he goes. He's won the Southern Trust. New Zealand Cup brilliantly. Rubble game effort, gap in the field entrepreneur. Then Attorney General followed home at the head of the rest there by Annalee Whiskey. Back we go to uh, Attorney General and Lomu Flex towards the tail. Sell an exchange New Zealand Cup final. No peace, Kaz Raz, Little Mother, Another Dollar, Teddy Marcello, Freddie John, Magic Lass, and Sideshow Bob. Our favourite drawn the five here. Little Mother, Green Light is through to the control tower. The bunny set a motion. This is the New Zealand Cup for 2011. Set. And racing. Jumping nicely, Kaz Raz, our little mother's away beautifully. They're followed down on the inside by No Peace. Round the turn out of the straight, a length and a half, Teddy Marcello. They're followed down on the inside there, getting a rails run as Freddie John, a couple of lengths away. Sideshow Bob, another dollar, second last, back last there, Magic Lass. Little mother hits the lead, and out of the back she races away. Three in front of Kaz Raz, running on now, No Peace into the straight. But put your hands together for this good little champ. Up she comes. She's going to win the buy, sell and exchange, New Zealand Cup by five. No Peace second, Freddie John to third, then Kaz Raz, back we go, Teddy Marcello there followed down on the inside, another dollar never got into it, and back there sideshow Bob and also Magic Lass she's a champion no doubt about her, she is a champion, little mother comes to the cup, all set, ready to go. Racing Egyptian Gold out only fairly slow away there too was Dallas Apollo as they charge into the first bend and Hot Agent takes them to the lead from down on the inside we go to Starlight Bale that's followed there by a Trent Bale trying to get round them as big Dallas Apollo he's followed there by Idol Appeal back in transit we go to Egyptian Gold further back there to a Token Crimes and Dr Abernethy off the back they come and Hot Agent's exploded to the lead away by six or eight there on Dallas Apollo trying hard and behind them there comes Starlight Bale to the post 
Fent Bale, then we go Dallas Apollo, followed there by Starlight Bale, a hell of a finish in behind. The inside, uh, we go to uh, Token Crimes, that's been followed back there. Idle Appeal didn't re uh, yelp. Further back to Dr. Abernethy and towards the tail of the field, if I didn't mention it was uh, uh, Token Crimes was back there. This has exploded him. We're ready. Good luck. And we race and are getting out of the boxes. Nicely here is Thrilling Lucy finds the lead round the outside. There we go to Winsome Ashley. She's found the lead. Catch me if you can. A Winsome Daisy tucks in behind. Then we go back to Thrilling Lucy. That's followed round the outside there by Red Rush. The inside of Red Rush's premier start. Turbine Bale a long way from them. Fanta Claus and you're my lady. Off the top they come. Winsome Ashley in front. Oh, put your hands together. The little superstar swings. Winsome Ashley will stretch away and score nicely here from. Oh, then we go to to Winsome Daisy, Red Rush uh, followed back there by Thrilling Lucy the outside we had Turbine Bale uh, they followed a long way back there by Premier Star towards the tail of the field there was uh, Thrilling Lucy, your my lady didn't yelp her tonight, oh my god she's gone quick again I'd say she's rocketed off the seven she's done some damage to them Racing in the Friday Flash Auckland Cup for 99 and Summer Quick gets out well and look at Smoke and Prince find the lead. Summer, uh, Smoke and Prince to the lead there from Summer Quick. Round the outside, Big Denzel followed the rail there by Corrigan Bale. Down on the rail there is overtime out by Rivaldo. Further back in the running, Gold Current History walk across the top. They come. Uh, Smoke and Prince, how good are you Denzel? Round the outside he comes now. Further back in the running, there we go to Corrigan Bale. That's followed there by Gold Current and overtime. Denzel Bale has kicked. Denzel Bale will win the cup for 99. Denzel Bale Smoke and Prince Gold Curran followed there by overtime. Further back we go to Corrigan Bale Rivaldo. That's followed there by History Walk and Summer Quick. Denzel Bale 385 and $1.55 He got a beautiful run. Second line about to come up, another dollar, big time Convara, Little Mother in Houston. All but boxed for the cup. Boxed and set. Good luck to you all. 2012 Auckland Cup, bunny rolls round, set and ready. And racing, getting off the boxes here, middle of the pack here was big time, Convara goes to lead up wide of the track, there we go to Lock and Var Valero, the inside there is another dollar, further back in transit there too, Heavy Yap, Heavy Yap's followed there by Little Mother, she's got the world to cover, that's followed back by Yellow Mustard, back there to Darlene Otty, and last of all there is Houston, off down the back they go, and the young fella, big time Convara, here comes another dollar with that powerful run like he put up here last week, up they come, big time Convara, another dollar along the inside, he's home, big Big time Convara, another dollar. There we go to Little Mother. Followed down on the inside there by Yellow Mustard. Now followed further back in transit here by Lock and Var Valero. Uh, further back on crossing, uh, we go there to Heavy Yap. Heavy Yap has followed uh, towards the tail of the field there. Uh, Houston, I think, was back uh, towards the tail as well. Oh, the U kid on the block. Big time Convara. Start number 20. Win number 16. Oh, uh, he's a great story to tell about him too.
racing in the Astro Teddy New Zealand Derby. Buzzsaw Blade spit straight to the lead there from Bullman. Bail out wide a dizzy spell and Easter Man. That's followed wider still there by Egyptian Gold. Cues on City and back towards the tail of the field. We go to Whiskey Pete and out very wide there is to live by. On the band Buzzsaw Blade still doing it out wide as Easter Man in behind them. Here comes a fave Egyptian Gold starts to work there with Bullman Bale. Up they come and Easter Man for Lomas is kicked. Keithy Lomas with three derbies. It gets it with Easter Man followed across there by Egyptian Gold Whiskey Pete, then we go back to Bullman Bale. Uh, they're followed further back there by Cuzon City. Dizzy Spell was back there, and to live by back towards the tail of the field. to the trainers with their greyhounds in the New Zealand Derby for 2007 sponsored by the Green Thistle Sporting Trust set now ready and racing uh, early liner showing out here is Paddy Fly on the inside of runners there we go to Thrilling Mo and another Lloyd off the track a little is uh, uh, Thrilling Louie followed here by T-shirt further back in transit Hilly Steps got excited once tumbled off the top there and that was a Paddy flying out of the race into the bend they come and Thrilling Mo hunts the rail round the outside there we go to Thrilling Louie and another Lloyd along the paint comes Scott excited they drive down to the post Scott excited for Cleve Scott excited Thrilling Mo uh, Thrilling Louie Followed back here by another Lloyd. Further back there we go to T-shirt irritability. Followed back here by Hilly's tip. And of course the one that tumbled was Paddy Flyin. G.A. Cleave, Gary Turnbull. Well done, uh, Gray, uh, Gaylene Turnbull. Well done to the pair of you. Up goes a thrilling Charlie for Karen. Rene Ranger forward, Charlie's choice in for Rape. Set to go, you're running into the New Zealand Derby. Good luck to all connections. Money rolling forward, set. Ready off. Oscar Chuck begins very nicely in showing early speed as Rene Ranger out wide of the track. There we go to Spitfire Osti up there too along the paint. There we go to Thrilling Charlie further back in transit. There now is a Charlie's choice. Bit of trouble in behind. Oscar Chuck and also getting knocked out of the race there would have been Riddle Mate. Off the top they come. They swing for home and down to the paint. Spitfire Osti away for Carolyn. Here comes Rene Ranger down the outside. Spitfire Osti. Yes, Rene Ranger second. Third Thrilling Charlie. Fourth across there was Charlie. Charlie's Choice followed back there by Magico, uh, followed further back there by Siri Rioli, and the two that got battered early, Riddle Maid and Ostap Chuck will run last. Calvin Hall gets it up here with Spitfire Ostap, will do the job at a 25 and a 67, is a bit rough off the top, that didn't worry Spitfire Ostap, will beat the six, Rene Ranger. Favourite idol appear with the blue rug and the green light has gone through to the control tower. The money set a motion that are about to break in the Oaks final. Set. Ready. And racing now, jumping down on the inside, Lady Leah, but Idle Appeal has zipped out straight to the lead. So Idle Appeal leads Lady Leah round the outside bank side. Brad back we go in the running to Thrilling Heidi, and they're followed down on the inside. Better Sammy out wider there. We go to musical drama. Further back the field, bank side, babe, but out the back, blue firm, but across the top. And little Idle Appeal is on the bunny. Out by four lengths, bank side, Brad tries hard. Further back to Thrilling Heidi, but up they come. Idle Appeal, bank side, Brett's cutting her down, but Idle Appeal getting there. She's held on. 
Vital Appeal three quarters. Bankside Brat third at the line, Thrilling Heidi. Two lengths away, Lady Leah. Bankside Babe made ground late. Back we go to Blue Fern. And the last pairing were Bitter Sammy. And back there also, musical drama towards the tail. The bunny set in motion. The stable mate, New Zealand Oaks final about to break. Ready? And racing, field away, jumping nicely in the centre, Delusionist, and also darting out quickly there. We've got another Baxter down on the inside, the rail opening up for a, for a hoka tash, and here comes Winsome, you know, into the race now. The leader's got away a bit, though, and Delusionist out by four, another Baxter, a hoka tash driving along the rail, little Winsome, you know, she's doing a bit of work, she's coming now, here she comes, and around the corner, Delusionist, look at the big strides, Winsome, you know, she's about to gobble her up. Oh, she goes straight past, what a champ. Winsome, you know, by three. Delusionist getting up for third of Hoka Tash. Then we go back there to Chili Tart. Further back behind those runners, we'd have uh, Poison, but why not? And no best would have been back there towards the tail as well. All well, class, Winsome, you know. She had to work a bit tonight, but uh, you could tell on the corner she was just going to swallow them up. Nutrients Duke of Edinburgh Silver Collar for 2002. Around it comes Set Ready. Racing in the collar, good break too. Who's going to make the early pace? Frank Byrne does on its outside. There is Gatlin Bale between runners. Goes Aqua Strike, whipping round the outside to the pair. Gets handy down and about fifth posse is a Casual Command. That's followed further back there by Shining Aqua and Frank Byrne. Up the straight they come the first time. And Aqua Strike away by a length in our one. Blue Double D sits camp. Beautiful run the inside for Casual Command. Round the outside goes to the pair. There we go to Gatlin Bale. Two or three back to Frank Byrne. And last of all, Shining Aqua and the Nutrient Silver Collar. Down the back they go and Aqua Strike. Here comes around the outside. Blue Double D. Look at to the pig. Start to run now. Further back we go to Gatlin Bale. That's getting home with Casual Command. Back there to Frank Byrne and Shining Aqua. Up they come the outside there to the pig. To the pig. Grabs the prize there from Gatlin Bale. Then we go Photos Casual Command. Followed there by Aqua Strike. Now followed back there by Shining Aqua. And towards the tail of the field we go to uh, Blue Double D was back. Uh, uh, towards the back of the field on crossing. Well, it's done it. Number five to the pig. And racing, good early line showing up here now is like a storm to the lead from Cheeky Bonnie and the inside of her we go to emulate, try to get round them as Billy Baxter and Special Sage, very handy the rail there for Corborn Baron, followed back here by Thrilling Gus and Billy Baxter they drive up the straight the first time and like a storm in front by three down on the inside we go to emulate sits pretty, round the outside of runners there is Cheeky Bonnie starting to run now uh, the inside there emulates going backwards the outside of that is Special Sage, long way back there we go to Billy Baxter, Thrilling Gus and out the back door is Black Animus off the top they come, still like a storm for a Procopio and Adcock, race starting to change now, here comes Cheeky Body in behind runners, there is Special Sage starting to run out wider there to Corborn Baron they swing for home and Body. oh she's Cheeky, she's Body. she's good Cheeky Body wins it from Special Sage then we go to Corborn Baron, followed here by Like a Storm, out wider we had Thrilling Gus and they're followed further back in here by Like a Storm, we didn't mention it Black Animus and Emulate are tired to be at the tail of the field. Oh look she's just magic isn't she Cheeky Bonnie 46 and 26 2010 commercial plumbing Duke of Edinburgh Silver Collar. Good luck to you all. Set ready we're off. First. She uh, got away fairly swift fantasy, but quickly drifts along with San Burn of the early speed here now with Sudden Sam and Madder then driving up between them. There is Razmar and Let's Debate for the play. We've got a hell of a race on here. Then we go back to TK Girl. They're followed further back there now by San Burn of Shea Cherie. And of course, a little swift fantasy is last of all. Let's Debate finds the lead from down on the inside. Razmar in behind runners there. Now we go to Sudden Sam. That's followed round there by Madder then. TK Girl, the outside of TK Girl is San Burn of Shea Cherie. 
three and Swift Fantasy, she's going to have to work and starts to run now, but she sees the bums of the lot, off the top they come and Razbar in front, trying hard there now is Sudden Sam and let's debate here she comes round the outside, Swift Fantasy, it's not a dream, it's a fantasy, it's a Swift Fantasy, gets them nicely, second across there we go to Razbar, followed home here now by Sudden Sam Sanburner was up with the play, let's debate was there also back there to Shea Cherie they followed further back there now by TK Girl and Madder Than was last of all. Is this magic or what? Is this the magic? Have a look at it. Have a look at this. It's last. It's absolute last. Starts to work here now. And I'm thinking, but I didn't want to say it because I've been caught before. You can't win. But by God, this is an absolute machine. And racing, Denzel Bale gets out pretty well and he finds the lead there on the outside. We go to Yaramba Havoc, whipping around the outside at a great rate. There is Jasmore. Jasmore takes him to the lead. Jasmore in front there of Yaramba Havoc. The rail there for Rosie Hall. Denzel Bale followed back there by Trendy Dancer between runners. Carpai Puku out the back, Red Hot Singer. And the tailor there is Ballyru Angel across the top. They come, they're swamping these leaders. Rosie Hall still in front. The run coming the rail there by Trendy Dancer and out by to Denzel Bale. But Rosie Hall finds more and gets in. Rosie Hall, trendy dancer, Denzel Bale, red hot singer. Back there we go to Kapai Puku. They're followed home there by Yaramba Havoc. Back of the running, Jasmore. Oz towards the tail of the field. And Racing Idol Appeal comes out fairly early. Speed here, Speed Twin and Idol Appeal. Match Motors trying to get round the outside of them. Razma Rees and beautiful run. On the outside of that runner there is Token Ego. The inside Aussie Road, Faithful Whiskey. And out the back there is User Friendly Sunset Jest. Off the back they come. And Speed Twins open them up. Four or five. Here comes Razma Rees. Is it a big day for Benny Craig? Yes, it is. Further back there we go to Faithful Whiskey. Up they come and Razma Rees in the prize. Speed Twin, Faithful Whiskey Late. Then we go to a Token Ego that's followed across there by Sunset. Yes, wider out there would have been user friendly. Not hitting the line, Aussie Road. An idle appeal out the back door, 30 and 58. Boxed away, set to the Group 1 Waterloo Cup for 2009. Ready? And racing. Getting away nicely down the inside is Tricky Shelly and showing a bit of speed with that. There we go to Fancy Mel pushing the inside is Fancy Shelly. That's followed further back there now by Rocker by Lad. Then we go to Kid Delaney. Gap in the field, C Swift. And also uh, the hot favourite, Watmo. Off the top they come and Tricky Shelly for Raymond Harold away by four or five lengths. Trying hard and behind is Fancy Mel. Fancy Shelly followed there by Woods of Jess. Then we go back there now to Rocker by Lad. All the way, Tricky Shelly. Close here, the Inside Fancy Shelly, Fancy Mel, they're followed back there by Winston Jess. Further back there we go to Rocker by Lad, Kid Delaney, and the two favourites, Watmo, C Swift, second last, and last, Tricky Shelly, Ray Adcock. He's done it, and he's been doing this uh, for many, many years, Raymond Harold, and he gets the prize here. And racing, out wide smoking, Prince and Sydney title took a flyer down on the inside. By golly, we've got a race now. They're followed by our perk, slipping through Kid Kate. Further back we go, Wendy Shiraz. It's followed by Tudor Lumbug. Well back is Marty Honcho on the corner. Sydney title in front, and Sydney title is going to be too strong. Gets the prize. Second or maybe our perk. Kid Kate's in the photo, smoking Prince just behind them. They're followed by Wendy Shiraz. They would clear from Tudor Lumbug, Marty Honcho, and uh, Chelview Bell, one of the last ones.
race in the first. Shining Kev's hopped away pretty well and wider out to Warburton Lass. A wee bit slow gets back early and so does Aidan's Fields Arms. Now working to the lead, going down past us with a lap to go is Shining Kevin put three to four links on them. Aidan Fields Arms boots up the centre, goes wide at the first bend and loses the good ground it made. Jill Gina ran to second, Wingham Park is third, then Aidan Fields Arms finally settles fourth. Warburton Lass starts to run on further back to Gilt and last of all is AJ's pal some 20 links off this leader who is Shining Kev who is away for the prize. It's a question of the margin. It's 15 links in front of Jill Gina. Warburton Lass running underneath that. Aiden Fields Arms is three wide and battling in behind them to uh, Wingham Park. Further back to Gilt and AJ's pal down the straight. It's an exhibition gallop for Shining Kev. Warburton Lass ran through to second. Jill Gina's going to hold third off Wingham Park. Oh, stunning. Shining Kev wins easily. Warburton Lass just as easily second. Third across then Jill Gina. Wingham Park was fourth over. Then Aiden's Fields Arms. Further back to AJ's pal and Gilt disappointing finishes at the tail of the field. being boxed away for the uh, the eighth event and the bunny is set in motion our favorite barrel bail drawn for Racing now, Beryl Bale began fairly well and getting out quickly on the inside is Knock On Wood from Beryl Bale. Out wider is Hamden Bale going up and right round the outside is Wandering Spirit. Wandering Spirit now Knock On Wood drives through on the inside. Then came Beryl Bale from Serpico Bale and out wider next in is Calvary Jack trying to come into it but it's Wandering Spirit. Wandering Spirit, Serpico Bale, Beryl Bale, then Hamden, the Calvary Jack. That was followed in next then by Brandy Bale through along the inside. Then came President Kelly. Further back in the field was Knock On Wood and Hamden Bale has come home towards the tail of the field.